Oh, hello, friends. It is Sunday, July 25th. Uh, today is day 500 since Broadway shut down. 500 days. 500 days ago today, Thursday, March 12th, I was walking down this block at about this time, having just gotten the news that we were done, because I was heading down here to cut through Schubert Alley to go over to the Lunt where Tina Turner was playing to get my paycheck, which they had for me. I was supposed to be filling in at Tina that night, and that was like, well, that had stopped. The night before, I had been at To Kill a Mockingbird right there. So let me give you a perspective. Right behind me is the uh, Majestic where Phantom is playing. Um, I'm right under the marquee of uh, the Broadhurst, where Jagged Little Pill will be returning. Across the street is the St. James, where Frozen pulled up stakes during the pandemic and cut their losses and got out of there. And now Bruce Springsteen has been doing his concert show for a return engagement over there. Uh, there's a poster for MJ, the Michael Jackson musical, which is going to be uptown, but they're coming in December. The Little Schubert, uh, formerly the Little Theater, then the... Um, Sorry, the Little Theater, then at the Helen Hayes Forever, now just the Hayes Theater, home of Second Stage Theater, that's there. I did Rock of Ages in there. I did Phantom in there. I did day work on Mary Stewart here at the Broadhurst. Never worked in the St. James, visited people. Schubert is right ahead of me, where To Kill a Mockingbird is. I worked on that. I'm, I hope to work on it again. And Matilda before that, and Memphis before that. Uh, Times Square was right there. Schubert Alley. Let's walk to Schubert Alley, shall we? So anyway, yeah, 500 days. Uh, and at the time when we shut, it was for five weeks. And we all went, really, five weeks? Maybe three months. Maybe three three months. Maybe three. Maybe six. You think six? Oh, God, it could be six. God, I can't imagine six. Well, guys, 500 days later, all the shows now have return dates. All of them except, I don't think West Side Story Revival does, um, but everybody else has dates rolling out from starting as early as some new things in August to most things, uh, some things restarting, previewing in September, into October, into November, into December. So um, everyone's got a return. Uh, the thing is, I don't. I'm still waiting. Okay, here we are at Schubert Alley. I, uh, scaffolding, scaffolding, scaffolding. So right behind me, To Kill a Mockingbird at the Schubert in scaffolding. That's also the home of the infamous A Chorus Line. Uh, Schubert Alley's covered in scaffolding. So, yeah, I, I'm still holding. I'm still waiting. As I've said, word is out to everybody. Supervisors are good enough to get back to me to say, good to know where you are. And I have no idea where I'm going to be. So, okay. It's getting to be a lot to stay ahead of it every day. The anxiety of, oh, look on social media. Oh, we're back in our theater dry cleaning the clothes. Oh, my God, I'm back in the auditorium for the first time in 15 months. Oh, my God, I can't believe that I'm back in the theater. I'm not. <laughs> and I don't know when or where or how I will be. <laughs> Everybody I run into says, oh, Billy, you'll work. You'll get something. You'll work. I mean, I, okay, I trust that. But it's a lot. Uh, so anyways, I just wanted to take a walk over here to discuss all of that today. Uh, and the other thing, and this does correspond, I gotta get to a stanchion where I can put down my iced coffee and show you. It also happens that today is the three year anniversary of my getting my heat set Aurora Borealis crystal rhinestone. You've seen it, my rhinestone. My Aurora Borealis heat set Swarovski crystal rhinestone. And the story that goes with it about how I go back through my videos. I can't tell the story for the 15th time, but it's, it's just a rhinestone. It's my version of breathe. When, when I get balled up by things, I'm like, Billy, it's just a rhinestone. So it's interesting that today at 500 days, while I'm feeling the sorrow and the anxiety about, wow, 500 days of no work and no Broadway and me not knowing when it is next for me, uh, it'll eventually be a blip on the radar. That said, I'm enjoying my summer off. I've been enjoying all this time off, really. Uh, tomorrow, my sister, noted lesbian Teresa Hipkins, and I are going up to Provincetown. She's on her way in from Jersey now. She's going to spend the night at my place, meet my cats. We, she had stuff from my folks' house that I am going to be taking that she had in her car. So she's on her way in, and we're going to go to Provincetown for a few days, where the COVID numbers are spiking among the vaccinated. Yay! Just a rhinestone. So there's a lot to be anxious about, and there's a lot to be Oh, this is also, let me see, I can show you where, uh, yeah, come away from there. I always call come from away. Come away from there. They're over here. 
And uh, right next door is where company will return at the Jacobs with the Patty Lepones. Uh, right across the street, the Imperial Theater, where Ain't Too Proud is playing. I did Carousel there. I did The Great Comet there. Um, never worked at the Jacobs or, or, or at the Come From Always at the Schoenfeld. Uh, but we share an alley right down here. There's an alley that leads down and is a back way to get into the Majestic where Phantom is on the other block and these two theaters. So I, I did share that alley. There's a great photograph from a million years ago of the inner alley with Robert Preston in his costume from The Music Man talking to Laurence Olivier, who is doing the play The Entertainer at one of these. And they're out in the alley just having a sig butt and talking. Fascinating stuff. Anyway, sidebar, sidebar. So you know what? Considering everything, guys, I'm doing fine. I, I just, I would trade all this time off and all these vacations and all this fun stuff I've been doing all summer. Oh, speaking of fun stuff, uh, when I'm back next week, I'm going to the very first preview of the very first play that will be returning to Broadway, a new piece called Passover. And I got a ticket for that first audience and you're gonna see crying. And then the very next night, my friends that I went to Fire Island with, my dear friend Nicole, producer that I love, and who loves me apparently, very, very much, uh, messaged me to say, hey, what are you doing on the 5th? Nothing, why? You're coming with us to see Lady Gaga and Tony Bennett at, at Radio City Music Hall. Okay, so as much as I'm boohooing about not having a Broadway, shit, I'm having a dream life, aren't I? Uh, crossing back over 8th Avenue, heading toward the Hirschfeld, where Moulin Rouge will be returning. And, um just kind of sauntering the neighborhood doing this video for you. So anyways, guys, it's just a rhinestone. This will be a blip in the radar on the path. There were, there's, I, we all are already laughing about like, two weeks after we all go back to work, it's gonna be like, fuck this again. <laughs> Give it two weeks of, I'm so happy to be back. I'm so grateful to have my job. To be like, ugh, matinee. So anyways, in the meanwhile, I'm gonna enjoy not working and I'm gonna keep my fingers crossed and know that my higher power cares for me very much and will tell me where to go next and when to go there. And I will do so at said time. There it is. Happy Sunday.